The very last step is to make sure the questioner is satisfied, happy. Keep in mind that time is limited. This is simply to check that you did not misunderstand the question. Checking back usually takes the form of a question. So of course you got a question, now you can answer the question or try to answer the question or even postpone the question. But before you finish you need to ask the person, the questioner again, is that what you meant? Is that good? Can that work for you? Are we okay now? Are we good? So how can we do this checking back? You can simply say, does that answer your question? Or, I'm not sure if that answers your question or not. I hope that covers your question somewhat. I like this somewhat because somewhat meaning at least I answer some of your question. Is that what you mean? Or is that what you meant? Does that address the issue you raised? Is that clear now? Does that make it easier to understand? So all these are great ways to just very quickly check back to make sure the person got what they wanted. Now, of course, they may say something like, no, that's not what I meant, or not exactly. And then you just quickly say, well, can we meet afterwards? Or maybe we can get together after the time is over, or our time is very short, so maybe we can talk later. That's a good way to keep going because, again, your audience is going to get very bored if they have to listen to all of this. How about postponing the question? At this time, right now, currently, we can use all of these words about time. At this time, I don't have that information with me. Right now, I don't have that information with me. Currently, I don't have that information with me. Here's another way to postpone. Let me. Let me get back to you after the conference. Let me talk to you after the presentation. Let me get that information to you through email. A great way to postpone. I look forward to I look forward to discussing this more later. I look forward to carrying on this discussion later. I look forward to continuing this discussion later. Here's some examples of checking back with the questioner. Does that, does that answer your question? Does that cover your question? Does that response address your question? I hope that, I hope that answers your question. I hope that response makes sense. I hope that answer is satisfactory. Okay, so there we go with our end of the presentation, wrapping it up. What can we say about wrapping up our presentation? Well, we can say the key point is this is the last chance you have to make your point clear, to make your elevator pitch clear to have the audience go away with your main idea. If you don't do it here, it's not going to work. So you really need to press forward on it here. How can we do that? By being very positive, by staying relaxed, and then going through these stages of summing it up, making a conclusion, then telling what's the implication, and then doing question. 
all very short, just a few minutes each if your presentation is a short presentation. This could be longer if it's a longer presentation. Question time could be long. But normally for research presentations, your time is highly limited. So, do a good conclusion. Do a good summary. Do a good implications. Do a good question time. And I'm sure the audience will walk away and remember your main idea. Good luck.